Yes, uh, it is a fact that we have begun legal action against Royce Myers III of UFO Watchdog. Uh, I regret that we have to take anybody to court, but his actions have forced us to do that. They forced us to do it because we warned him through public statements and uh, other things that uh, he needed to correct or retract or take back the false statements about us, me especially, that are still on his website. But he didn't do that. He didn't take our threat seriously of legal action, or he doesn't seem to care, I don't know. He hasn't responded. So now we have begun. already knows that he's being featured in the TV show Secret Wars. He's being exposed in many episodes because he deserves it. And people seem to forget that my life often and is part of a reality TV show. So when you guys act up and behave like bozos, and there's plenty of you in the UFO field that do, uh, don't be surprised if it ends up on TV because the world needs to know that this is how you really are. You see, what makes UFO Watchdog dangerous for consumers is that he holds himself up as a watchdog, as a protector and defender of what's, what is supposed to be the truth. And when I read what's on his site, it's not the truth. And since we can easily disprove it, I don't blame people for being upset at him. I don't blame people for saying, well, wait a second. Actually, now that you think about it, you're right. He isn't telling the truth here, and his information isn't accurate. And let me give you just one example. <clears throat> Russ Myers says that Kevin Randall is the voice of reason in ufology. Can you believe that? He says that we need more Kevin Randalls. Really? I don't think so. You know, I exposed Kevin Randall over 10 years ago in my book, The Roswell UFO Crash, What They Don't Want You to Know. And that book is the best-selling Roswell expose of all time. It's in paperback. So it is the equivalent of the other side of the argument for Roswell. It is the Kevin Randall of the Project Mogul side of Roswell. So I exposed Kevin Randall in there. I not only exposed him, I exposed all of his witnesses. Witnesses that he now says, yep, they were liars, they were hoaxers, damn, I was fooled. No, Kevin, you weren't fooled. You're just not competent. If it happens once, maybe you're fooled maybe twice, but Kevin, repeatedly, over a period of years, even your partner fools you, the guy you wrote two books with, he claimed for years he was a medical illustrator, Kevin, and you never knew he wasn't. Someone else had to figure that out for you, call in front of you and hand you the phone to prove it to you. That was your own partner that you wrote two books with, and you didn't even know he fooled you either, Kevin. Well. I guess we're lucky that you uh, don't work in some field where if you're wrong, people die. Because there'd be a lot of dead people now, Kevin. And this is what the UFO field doesn't think about, okay? They don't think about the consequences of what happens when someone hoaxes or fakes things. There's no, no such thing as accountability. As long as Kevin Randall keeps saying aliens were involved in Roswell, he's a good guy. But the moment he changes his story and says, oh no, it's Project Mogul, he's part of some CIA cover-up. This is nonsense. And this has been interesting in Secret Wars because uh, we, over the years, have tested the UFO field. We've observed them get away with crap. And we've conducted operations to document this, and now we're going public to expose it. And yes, some big names get their heads rolled. But guess what? If we don't do it, no one else is gonna. And what happens to the truth?
Whatever happened to the truth? Does anybody care anymore about the truth? They need to start that. Thank you.